somebody's tiptoeing through the clover. Morning, Poppet. Good morning, everyone. I'm at Bliss Hill this morning, as you can see behind me. First day of trading at the Ironbridge Museum. It is a brilliant venue. We always have a great weekend here. The staff and the team are brilliant, and it's a brilliant surrounding as well. Um, I'll give you a quick show you my stand. Um, it may be no sound because it's rather raucous in there this morning. So uh, if I can get, to, oh, Al's just trying to get past. Um, if I can get some audio, I will. If not, it'll be quiet because people are shouting and it's very, very noisy. So throughout the day, I'll try and walk around and show you different aspects of the museum um, if I can. So I will see you later. Bye for now. And she's trying to be quiet, but I've got Karen behind me. <laughs> Karen has even just arrived. <laughs> so yeah, we're all set up. I'm all set up, ready to trade today. So uh, hopefully we'll have a good day and I'll try and get a walk around and show everybody else that's here. So it's Sunday morning. It's the last day of June today. So we're entering into birthday season. <laughs> Not for the dogs, because Nippies is in April and Bentley's is in October, but July. <laughs> so, yes. Well, the rain stopped. It rained yesterday quite a bit, but it's fed up. And as you can see, the sky's not too bad today. We may have some sunshine, fingers crossed. We want to make sure that the boys get a decent walk this morning, just in case it does rain a lot this afternoon. Just getting ready for day two at Bliss Hill Victorian Village, or Victorian Town, sorry. Um, it's just before nine o'clock, and I'm just getting ready to go in, get set up and tidy up, and have a wander around, and I'll show you some of the fantastic old shops that are in there. Everybody's starting to arrive now, so uh, I better get off. It's just so lovely and peaceful here this morning. So this is Blake Moran Sons, and they're the grocers. But have a look. All the old packaging in the window. Tip bits plain flour. Grocers and their old boxes. And the piggy, pretend piggy. But it's just so beautifully done. Look at that for afternoon tea. And they may be a little bit stale now because they've been in the window probably about 20 years. Um, next door we have Bates and Hunt the Chemist. We'll have a look in there. Well, I'm glad I look nice and tidy this morning because you can actually see my reflection in the window. But it's the bottles, the different coloured bottles are so pretty. And the old packaging. I mean, so beautifully laid out. I look like a ghostly shape, don't I? There, but let's have a look inside. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's open normally, but I don't get a chance to go in, obviously, because I've been busy trading this weekend. But it's just so. Look at that plaque. Bates and Hunt. Beautiful, beautiful brass plaque. 
And if we look out of here and we go up, we've got, well, we've got the, uh, the pub opposite, Hobson's Brewery. And we go up towards the canal, but we've also got the ladies' wear shop, who's your Ian Millinery. And for those hot summer days, you obviously need your, your football kit when you're playing football outside. Now, they are what we call shorts, aren't they? They are long shorts and a nice ladies' tennis outfit. But it's just so beautifully, beautifully laid out. I love it here. And all the night dresses, etc. There's a new shop next door I've not seen before, and that's the Iron Merchants. Got some fab stuff in the window. Look at those. I went half a dozen of those myself. And my machines. All the flat irons. And the little one right there went to a big one, but that's. Thank you! That's a lovely lady who's running the event. She's unlocked the good shed for me because that's where I'm trading. So I need to have a little change round this morning because I sold out yesterday of quite a lot of things. But they're nice, aren't they? Copper pastry cutters. Oh, beautiful. If you need a nice gas fitting, this is where you need to come. Look at the teddy bear doorstop. Isn't he cute? What I like about it here is it's exactly as it would have been in the time you've got billboard posters up being pasted to the walls advertising products. Hair soap. Baldwin's Herbal Blood Pills. They don't sound particularly pleasant, do they? Well, she's lovely. Calvert's Carbolic Prickly Heat and Bath Soap. Mm, they lost me at the prickly heat there. Well, they paste them up and when they get weathered, they paste some more up, so it just looks exactly as it should. I love this pink one for the gin company. It's got papered over, but look at that design. And we have to remember that these were all typeset by hand, or drawn by hand. No computers, no hot metal. Each, number, each letter would have been hand cut and then assembled up. A lot of work goes into that. I think we forget now how difficult it was in those days. So it's Monday afternoon and I woke up this morning feeling absolutely dreadful as though I got wed late, wed, <laughs> lead weights on my shoulders, all the back of my neck. I feel really tired, I'm bunged up. My nose is either solid or it's running like a tap sore throat uh, I just feel absolutely dreadful um, but like I said I had to go through to see mum and dad this morning I had to go and take mum's um, prescription in and obviously doing any, any little bits of shopping and stuff that they wanted doing um, and then when I got back I just thought oh good grief um, went and had to lie down for an hour and then got up again after I'd had something to eat um, I had to force myself to eat this morning. <laughs> I just don't know where it's come from. Um, the only place I've been in the last few days, really, has been, well, apart from the supermarket this morning, and I felt like it before I got to the supermarket this morning, was the supermarket on Friday last week. Um, and that's the only, the only place I've been, really, that I could actually pick anything up where there's been other, other people, apart from, just me and Ian, and, and the boys, obviously. So, yeah, I just feel spaced um, and croaky and, but I don't have, don't have a bad chest. I'm not coughing, which is really, really weird. So it's just obviously, just a, a mal de tete a head cold, I think. bit windy today you'll have to excuse the croakiness of the voice because I'm still not still not 100% but 
But I've had to take the dogs out this morning because obviously Ian's had to go to work. So, if not me, then who? <laughs> uh, life still has to go on, even though you're poorly. So it's Tuesday. Um, what time is it? Quarter past eleven. Um, been out with the boys this morning. Um, Ian's had to go to work. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The cough started. Um, it's a chesty cough, not a tickly cough. So does that mean anything? I've got no idea. Um, yeah, just feel absolutely dreadful still. Um, but I still had to get up this morning, take the boys out because obviously Ian had to go to work. So you know, I had to put my big boy pants on and get out of bed and get the boys taken for their walk because they still need sorting out, don't they? Um, and I've got loads and loads of work to do um, this week because we've got a big meeting on Wednesday. Um, Ken Alfie from Indigo Blue and the owners of Indigo Blue are coming over for a an all-day meeting, um, working lunch it's supposed to be, um, <laughs> Um, to discuss um, a plan, a working plan for um, for the year ahead, I suppose. Um, yeah, it's July, um, so we're, we're kind of planning on what's going to happen for the rest of this year and what we're going to do into next year. Um, there are plans for, um, for changes within um, how they do things, how they release the release schedules, um, also, I'm going to be releasing more stamps and paper pads through them next year um, as part of the signature range. I, discuss, I discussed um, paint range with them again. Yeah, well that's, that's reared its head again. Uh, and they're definitely all in favour of that again. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. Um, and Ian wants to do some bits and pieces with them as well. So there was some signature stuff from Ian going through Indigo Blue as well. We did lots and lots of things going through we're working on different products different events um classes um either in-person classes or zoom classes that they want to do and um, where we're going to be helping them develop um class content and class projects all that kind of stuff so it's going to be a really busy working day tomorrow um and like i'm still feeling absolutely awful um but they're not going to be coming until about 10 10 30 tomorrow morning so I've still got time to get up a bit earlier and get over to mum and dad's and do some shopping um, for mum uh, and then hopefully get back before they arrive for the meeting um, because obviously mum still needs to get her groceries. So um, yeah, so it's going to be a busy couple of days. I'll start off in here. You started already. Have I? <laughs> And Hi everyone! <laughs> so, uh, welcome to the live. We're not prepared at all. Um, in actual fact, yeah, you're wondering where I am. Just, just, just come this way then. Come this way. Oh, that's not Duke, uh -huh. is it, darling? Hey, that's not Dukey Wookey. No, <laughs> no. This is a beautiful, beautiful. Yes, he's not. He's not our new new family member actually we've been working hard all day we've been planning we've been creating content we've been doing some gorgeous um yeah planning what's going on um for the rest of the year and into next year so it's been really exciting but we're not alone we're actually over in yorkshire visiting our designers and really good friends um come and meet them are you going to say hi, Alfie? No. Come say hi. <laughs> Here we are. Hi. Hi, everyone. We're watching this lady on the TV, actually. <laughs> <She's here. laughs> so this is uh, Ian and Mike. So you know Mike Deakin and Campbell because they do loads and loads of designing for us. And uh, this is what we do. We sit around the table. We, um, hi. Oh, yeah, hi, hi, brother. Hi, brother. Hi, turn that over, turn that over quick, quick. <laughs> It's all secret. <laughs> We've got some fantastic new products coming from now until October. We have. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
So what we've been planning, we've been planning uh, Facebook launches, we've been planning um, hobby maker launches, yep. we've been planning mixed media box kits. Classes. <gasps> Classes. New products, well. everything. Absolutely. And we've even had our tea as well. And yes. we had lunch, didn't we? We had lunch we as had well. We had time for lunch and we had tea and we worked straight through, didn't we? We worked so hard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but have we finished now? No. Nearly. <laughs> oh, we've still got a bit more to do. Um, but not to worry because we're going to stay this evening and uh, hopefully when we finish work we'll have a, a bit of a board game, won't oh, we? Oh yes, I think so. Can we have a little bit of a drinky poo as well? Oh, I think so. Oh, I think so. I think Just for medicinal purposes, of, of course. Because yes. Mike's not terribly well Because today. I'm not well. No. I'm not well. You can tell, look, he's looking at... Oh, oh. oh I've just wiped his <laughs> so, I think I need a whiskey. <laughs> they can have some of the O'Donnell's moonshine. <laughs> that sounds a little bit rough. It's, no, it's not rough. It's, uh, is it it, nice? What flavour is that one? It's nut. Hazelnut. Hazelnut. Oh, yes. That's right. You did give me a, a whifter of it. <laughs> a whifter? A whifter. <laughs> what that's a whifter? A whifter of smell. Never heard of one before. We do have now. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Alfie's behind the camera though, he's had a busy day too. He has. He's done yes. a lot of thinking today. He's he done a lot and, of thinking. And what's the worst thing Alfie thinks about? Money. Money. He's thinking about <laughs> money today, so he's, he's a little bit afraid and fragile. Poor, Poor Alfie. Alfie. Yeah. So it's Thursday, 4th of July. I don't normally jump on um, and add an extra day onto the vlog, but this morning just seemed a little bit appropriate. Um, today, here in the UK, we're all going to the polling stations because it's time um, to bring in a new government here in the UK. Um, so yeah, it will be a time of change. I'm almost certain of it. Um, Ian's gone to work this morning, um, so um, I've got the dogs again, um, so I'll be looking after them. As you can tell, I'm still a bit croaky. I'm still a bit... Ugh. Um, I had a bit of a better night last night, um, wasn't quite so tossy and turny, um, I did manage to get a few hours sleep, um, but I was wide awake again at 3am, I don't ask, but anyway, um, yeah, so, so we're all going to the, the, going to the polling stations today to vote um, for a brand new government, or the same one, depending on, you know, how it turns out. No idea. Um, but of course, it's the 4th of July, so our American cousins will be celebrating um, Independence Day. So uh, just a quick, um, you know, have a good time, guys. And remember, please <laughs> drink responsibly if you're drinking. Uh, if you're doing fireworks and all that kind of stuff, then you know, make sure you're all safe. And if you're having family get-togethers, I hope you have a wonderful time. So anyway, that's all from me for this week. I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.